You could have asked for a more entertaining game than this encounter between Grady Adams at home in the red and yellow and Leicester Vaughan. The first quarter was a Leicester Vaughan domination as they led 11-2 and into the second they continued in that vein. Cadian Brathwaite with the slam dunk. Grady Adams on the immediate counter-attack and Malachi LaRose finds Jeremiah Davison who takes it off the board. But the boys from King Garden still held the edge and with all hands on deck, the baskets kept adding up. That was Caleb Smith. On the other end, with the home support behind them, the Granny team went into fighting mode. Also, if all hands on deck, the first attempt is missed, the rebound is retrieved, second time around, not so lucky, so then they found their point, Marla Rose. But it was less of on who will go into the half with the edge, as their point man, Bradford, was not short of baskets. End of the second, they were up 17 to 8. On the back for the third start with Grady Adams looking to make up ground. And they started positive. Ariel Cullimore gets his name on the sheets. But Les Savon still kept it all together. And Brathwaite still with his star plays, let alone using his height as his advantage. But just when Brathwaite became complacent, LaRose reminded him he was just as good. Walking this all the way for the easy layup. The game now pulled into the single-digit advantage. The gap is closing. The boys in green, however, kept that slight lead with Brathwaite the key playmaker to end the third up 23-18. to 18. But what happened in the fourth quarter we did not see coming. Talk about a renewed vigor from the Grantley boys. And it started with steals and finishes like this one. Grantley with possession again and LaRose was in overdrive ensuring that every chance was taken. When I tell you the boys in red were now in the driver's seat, I meant it. And LaRose, this time finding Davison, they now pull things within two points of their opponents. It was as if a whole new team had stepped onto the court. And LaRose was the ringleader. Don't think Les Savon were in any way losing ground. They were right there, basket for basket. LaRose then switched into high gear, pulling breaks at the arc and sinking this three. And it wasn't finished yet. This play was the defining moment of the game with just minutes left. Another big one is gained. The score is now 36-34 to the Grantley boys. And Principal Major Andrew Skeet could not contain his excitement. Now this is the support our student athletes need. Les Savon had one more chance to turn the tables when Braffitt was fouled in the dying seconds, sending him to the free throw line. He nails the first, pulling the game to a one-point lead, 36-35, still in Grantley's favor. The second dances off the rim, so there's no leveling the game. And with that, the whistle goes. One of the best comebacks in schoolboy basketball I've seen in a while. Grandy Adams edged Les Savon 36-35, and the celebrations cannot be contained. Anne-Marie Burke, CBC Sports.